The doctor is in. Hi guys, it's Dr. Sal from DrSecrets.com. Thank you so much for joining in. Today we're going to take a look at the knee jerk reflex, also called the patella tendon reflex. This is a little magic trick that I'm going to teach you today and then I'm going to demonstrate to you and explain exactly what it is, why we do it, and the information that we elicit by running this simple um, body exploit. So it basically uses a vulnerability in your nervous system or in your musculoskeletal system. And um, without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it, show you it, and then explain it. So the first step in eliciting the patella reflex is you need to make sure they have an appropriate hammer. So this is one here, which has a nice soft tip and angular to impact the area um, in basically to concentrate the force into one area. The next thing is finding the correct landmark. So if I just hit here, that's not gonna do anything except hurt me. I'm looking for the ligament just below here. So you should be able to make out there that there's a, um, a narrowing here, like a rope, right underneath the biscuit piece of patella. So what you're gonna do is swing this like that and bang into it. So how does this hat work? Well, using this little uh, schematic diagram here, I have the biological circuit set up so you can see exactly how it's done. So first off, uh, let's look at our landmarks. This is my uh, thigh muscle here, or quadricep. This is my lower leg, calf here. And inside, if I peel away the skin, this is the patella, this is your femur or long bone, this is your tibia and fibula here, uh, cut off at the base. So the stretch receptor is this red wire here and the motor neuron or motor nerve is this black one here. So when I come along with my patella hammer and I bounce here, boing, on this um, ligament, that causes a stretch sensation inside the ligament. It suddenly pulls apart. The joint says, hey, this fool's gonna rip my leg apart. I better send a signal to the master center. So the stretch receptor uh, sends a signal along this nerve here, <clears throat> straight to the integrated circuit in your spinal cord. That then does this uh, little magical processing in there just like any IC circuit would, and then sends a signal back out through the nerve here, the motor nerve, to tell the leg to pull away from whatever force or rack was trying to pull it apart to preserve the integrity of the joint. So that uh, nerve impulse comes back around here through the motor neuron, stimulates my quadricep muscles. The quadricep muscles, uh, stimulated by electricity, contract, pulling or yanking my, my um, leg, lower leg, away from the insult that caused the um, stretch. And that's, that's how it works, that simple. Wow, so you saw it there for yourself. That is the knee jerk reflex and why it works. Now the question is why as doctors would we want to run this test? We're not really interested in parlor magic. There is a um, reason that we do this test. So somebody coming in complaining of weakness in their leg, we need to determine why are they weak in the leg? Is it something upstairs? Is it something with the control CPU system that's causing the problem with their, their weakness or loss of control? Did they have a stroke? Or is it something in their lower back causing the problem? Something in the integrated circuits of the spine. So this simple test that existed before CTs and MRIs can help us to determine or point a finger at what the culprit is with somebody with um, leg weakness. Now, in the demonstration that I showed you, that was a normal uh, knee jerk reflex because I'm not having any problems with my legs. But there are other varieties, other outcomes that are possible. If I did that same test on your knee and I saw that I elicited zero reflex, that would suggest to me that there's something wrong in the integrated circuit um, part of the control loop. So in other words, something wrong at the spinal level. So maybe you blew a disc and it's pushing against the spinal cord. That would be one example where you had a tumor in your spine that was pushing against the, um, the cord. 
If I ran the knee jerk reflex and instead of a simple bounce like what you saw on my knee, you saw a really exaggerated um, knee jerk like where my leg bounces out, almost kicks me in the face or continues bouncing over and over again after one elicitation, that would suggest that the problem is something upstairs in the command center. And the reason for that is a little beyond the scope of this uh, video, but to summarize it in a very simple nutshell, the central nervous system, the brain, exerts some dampening effect on the spinal cord's uh, uh, reflex loop. So if something goes wrong up here, like a massive stroke or something else knocking out the, the hardware, then what happens is that when you do the knee jerk reflex, the spinal cord has no suppression of its um, reflex and no extinction of the reflex. So you get a, a very exaggerated uh, response. Now, another reason besides just leg weakness, uh, why we may decide to run a knee jerk um, reflex is in cases where somebody's complaining of lower back pain. So somewhere between L2, L4. And the reason that we uh, run this test in cases like that is we're trying to determine how bad is their backache problem. If I run that test and it's abnormal on you, so I, I run your knee jerk and there's almost no jerk uh, response, and you're telling me you're having severe back pain and leg weakness, that immediately makes me wonder, okay, this must be something really bad going on in this guy's back. I need to set up a neurology appointment and um, imaging, either MRI or CT. Whereas if I run the test and the knee jerk is completely fine um, and the person is able to, to weight bear, uh, then I know that it's probably not that sinister. And more than likely with just some anti-inflammatories, rest, uh, etc., maybe some muscle relaxant, this person's going to get better. They're not going to need any kind of back surgery, no back fix. So uh, that's why we do the knee jerk reflex. Um, its simplicity beguiles how important the information that we can get from it is. And um, the last thing I want to leave you with uh, before I let you go is to let you know that there's also other reflexes, other stretch receptor reflexes besides just um, the knee jerk one. There's one at the back of your elbow, at the tricep uh, tendon here. If you bang the hammer there, it causes an arm jerk. There's also one in the bicep, which similarly elicits a bicep jerk. There's one in your wrist. Um, and then in your leg, there's also one in behind your, um, behind your ankle in the Achilles tendon, which will cause your uh, foot to, to tick. Um, so that is the little uh, medical magic trick there. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I was able to demystify it for you. And uh, stay tuned for the next upload where I'll share more medical secrets. Oh, Have yeah! a terrific rest of your week. Thanks for watching. Get notified of new videos. Subscribe now.